Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to try to find the integral of the cosine square of x. Now, over here on the right side of the board, notice that we have some very handy identities. In the case of doing trigonometric integrals, or integrals of trigonometric functions, I should say, it is really handy to have very close to you the identity of the sine square of x and the cosine square of x. Notice the sine square of x can be written as 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2x, and the cosine square of x can be written as 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of 2x. What that does is it allows you to take a function which is squared and replace it by a function which is to the first power, which is a lot easier to integrate. So notice here that if we then replace the cosine square of x by its identity, it looks as follows. This is equal to the integral of 1 half times 1. In the case of the cosine, it's plus the cosine of 2x times dx. Now we can take the 1 half outside the integral sign and we can split it up into two different integrals. So this can now be written as 1 half times the first integral, which would be 1 times dx, plus the second integral, which would be the cosine of 2x times dx. Now this is an easy integral to integrate, but here we have to be careful because we have the cosine of 2x dx, which means we need the differential of 2 times dx. If we let u equals the cosine of 2x, the differential or the derivative would be the, the negative, well, let's say, no, that would be the sine of 2x times 2 dx, so we need a 2 in there. So what we're going to do next is write this as 1 half times the integral of dx plus, this is now going to become the cosine of 2x, and we need an extra 2 in there. Let me use a different color. We need a 2 in there, so if we multiply this by 2, we also have to divide it by 2, so we keep everything the same. Hmm, looks like this pen is dying on me. And we need to close the brackets. So now we have the proper differential to the x, so we can integrate this. That's where the extra 1 half came from. Now we can go ahead and integrate both integrals. This is equal to 1 half times, the integral of dx would be x, plus 1 half times, the integral of this would be, the integral of this, the cosine is the sine of 2x times, whoop, no, not, not times anything, it's simply the sine of 2x, and then we simply also have to add the constant of integration. Never forget the constant of integration like I do quite often. Simplifying this a little bit more, this cannot be written as 1 half times x plus 1 quarter times the sine of 2x plus a constant of integration, and that would be the integral of the cosine squared of x dx. And that's how we do that. Quite tricky, isn't it? So these keep them very handy because those will come in handy in a lot of these kinds of examples. Whenever you have the cosine square, the sine square, or the cosine or the sine to even a higher power, that will be the key to helping us figure out how to do the integral of those functions. That's how it's done.